and Supernova as well as uh, MVD with a 65th at Supernova and a 33rd at Patchwork with really good wins on Rocky. And then a 2-3 loss to Beast Mode Paul recently as well too. So MVD seems to be starting to figure some stuff out in the current meta. We will see how the, you know, the poster child for late game Smash is uh, dealt with here. So here we go. Game one in winner semis here at Wavelength MVD. Definitely getting out to that uh, to that game plan pretty uh, pretty well so far and uh, throwing those grenades out. But Antimony is the kind of player who is okay with letting the grenades kind of come in, take those trades because you can get those up tilts out of it. There is a C4 straight on, on Steve's face right now. Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> you my have been marked. <laughs> my goodness. The grab going to be dashed through. Not going to find it, but really good happenings off the explosion. I often think that, you know, Steve players are very happy as the stock is taken there by the Nikita are very happy to take explosions at the lower percents, or especially when you have less percent than the snake, because you're happy to be in scrambles, because you can just up tilt out of anything. You can find really good stuff in the air. But these situations can get scary once the snake starts to run away with it. See, I, I, we, we, are, uh, we, we are only about a minute in at the current moment, and Antimony is one of those players who is patient. There is a, like, that many, many have tried to, to camp them out, but Antimony is, very okay with playing the slow game because they, they have the ability to murder you at zero. A tough matchup to run into for the slow game because it's one of these characters that's so happy to play with the lead, able to play from range, but also has every boxing tool in its ar in Snake's arsenal to deal with that. Wall in line here too. I mean, and just MVD. There it is. <laughs> going to fall there finally with the diamonds in hand. Very good resources we see from Antimony already. That's kind of the thing Justin Byleth fell victim to is lacking resources. No iron, no gold, no diamonds. We are seeing so many more options on the table for Antimony. Yeah, and this is why I, I, I keep saying that Antimony is okay with just kind of letting things happen because once Antimony starts getting all of those, uh, oh boy, here we go. Ooh, oh, I cipher. Just with the flint and steel was not enough. There's another grab on the platform right there for Antimony grabbing that grenade, but. Not getting too much out of that. Spike coming out, but it extended enough. But a back air sending MVD back off of stage. 100%, 126. Still very, very close. And Antimony going back to getting the getting stone, getting some iron, and mining for diamond as well. Oh, the footstool. Weird roll oh. situation. Grenade going to prevent all of that mine cart. And interesting, there the shield go. stopped there, prevented the mine cart from going forward. So it dropped the, uh, the up smash on top of Antimony and killing them. MVD back off stage, but going directly high in there. Air dodging back there as well. Antimony really wants to find this stock, and here we go. Yep. There it is. That's the classic Antimony, if it's not the Mason block, which has been placed right up there. But this is still a super even game right now, Scripps. I couldn't agree with you more, my friend. The down toss on the grenades, there is an absolute litany of resources that MVD is throwing the whole defense budget at Antimony right now. Damn, what happened to the, like these these new update pillagers are crazy. Insane. What's going on right now? MVD is very happy to go back into the corner but the minecart coming out, forcing the roll to go back to center stage. Almost coming out with it. Uh oh, uh oh. Couple of up tilts in the back here. MVD getting caught out, but nice little save from the grenade again, as you're gonna see constantly from Snake. Ooh, the drop down there too, through the expiring block, but these diamonds in hand could be spelling a whole lot of pain here. Finally, to get majority stage at MVD's back. This is where we want to work from. We are happy to keep you in this phone booth. Just going to force you over, picking all these options. Oh, my God. That was almost a very nice DI to get away from that, but just not enough. Yeah, my card out of the corner because it is strong, baby. And the back air, shield poking there as well on MVD. 135, 136 from the blast zone. Antimony narrow, slowly inching closer, narrowing the gap to try and get this win on game one. Yeah, it's been tough to find damage for MVD here. It's been a lot of grenade. There's been very few strong hits just coming from the character. We're now starting wave B. What do we have here, though? Air dodge in C4, not close enough. MVD playing really good defensive game. If you made it to nice little grab in there. Doesn't read the, attack, the, the roll option yet, but that back air is going to take out Antimony to drop game one. MVD taking it. Very, very close.
What good patience there coming from MVD as well, too. There's a lot of players who get frustrated in that situation where you can't seem to find the stocks, you can't seem to find meaningful percent, but standing tall, standing true, and waiting, as I was saying earlier. You have majority stage. You have all this room to work with. You will eventually find a jump out. You will eventually find a minecart out from Antimony, and that's where we capitalize. You see right there that, uh, that throwing these grenades and putting uh, anything up to mess with the... Spacing is really good for Snake. Antimony probably getting a minecart out of the minecart into the corner there to take out that stock, but then right there, reading that jump, hitting with that the big feet back air. Snake is I feel like Snake does fairly well into Steve, but at the on the other end, it's kinda it kind of feels like it's always even from the start to finish. Here we go into game two at the current moment. MVD up 1-0 on Antimony right now. Going to Hollow Bastion right here. Kind of forcing Antimony to mine with a different tool. Or, sorry, it does actually use pickaxe to, to mine. So, getting uh, losing that pickaxe earlier is going to start happening if, if uh, Antimony starts mining. Yeah, Hollow Bastion going to be a really good place here to set up and play that King of the Hill game. Obviously, the stage split into thirds here. If you like to think about it like that, you have your two outsides and under the platform. If Steve can kind of maneuver that space, or Snake, perhaps, can control that middle third so damn well. Going for the, the F to one in the up air. Trade there from back air. Minecart incoming the Nikita. MVD definitely wants to stay center stage right now because yeah. it's not like a clear. And th there's the antimony block, the mason block, doing damage to the owner. Something you don't see very often. And that's what I'm talking about. When you have control of that middle third, you really dictate the pace of the game. You see MVD so happy to come in and out with the shelter of that platform above. You're able to avoid some really good minecart. Woo! Footstool Anvil, though, the ultimate equalizer coming in for Antimony. Why is that frame four? Couldn't tell you. Uh, Sakurai, I need you, buddy. Please. Catches that roll in. Nice there from MVD. Weak back there, catching again. That could have been a couple of jabs into that block, but another in the corner. C4 takes that off of Antimony. MVD making a much more commanding lead in this game, too. And you see it, Antimony a little frustrated in the player cam here, too, getting lost in the sauce of all these projectiles and options. Gonna have to fight through all of this. Snake takes to the skies. It's really, it's really rough when you think you have a good, uh, when you think you have like a really good edge guard and ledge trap going, and then Snake just decides, hey, what if I go up here? Goodbye. And then, wow, Antimony trying to catch the, a landing with a block right there into into a into another anvil, but the block breaks and MVD is away. But the minecart, not quite yet either. Diamond in hand here, too. Oh my gosh, wow. we are not dead from the middle of the stage. Able to sneak under it. Finally, third time is the charm. We have refreshed our tools. We have our diamond spent. We have enough gold for powered minecarts as well here, too. If you're looking for a full roster of stuff, this is exactly what Antimony has. Oh, wow. Because it, it definitely feels like Steve has a little bit of trouble getting in in on Snake, especially because of how good Steve's combo potential is. But Almost everything kind of feels like it just trades with these explosives. Yeah. You saw down. You saw down throw actually trade with the, or actually get hit by that. But that's gonna be a shield poke off the top, and Antimony taking game two. A quick little reversal. Yeah, that was insane. I was not ready for what I was seeing there because it felt like MVD had that game so locked in the bag. But it goes back to talking about the arsenal that was had. You can build on damage so damn quick. And you can see this block here. Absolutely Ooh, up. As there. it was placed, too, yeah. my friend. It is an unfortunate block to get hit by, regardless of the character, even if you place it yourself. Right over here, you're going to see MVG get footstool, add a shield for that frame four option off of the top. And then right here, I think you actually will see the, you'll probably see the, the shield poke a little bit right here. Landing right up there. Yeah. yeah, the shield poke barely, his headband popping out of there. And we're back on Hollow Bastion. We are back in Kingdom Hearts. <gasps> Oh, Ed Timoni was going for it, but catches the air dodge there. And now we have 79% on MVD just like that. Percent's cheap here, too. It's all about stocks. You can take 100, 120, 140 against these two characters very quickly. So when will we see stocks is the real question. Not sure quite yet. 105 right now on MVD. Doing very well to start getting the, making it, closing the distance right here in this game three. But Antimony is a, is the kind of player that is okay with the distance being pulled in and just waiting for the moments like that, getting those fat back airs. 
and MVD is a little bit behind right now, but there is Define. potential for that off the wow. top. Wow! No fanfare or anything. No sparks, no nothing. Just going to take the stock ruthlessly. Straight up Tilton for the love of the game. Yeah, really good stuff there, too. It was a good tech chase, reading the roll away from Antimony as well. Yeah, I think, I, did they die at like 78? Something like, like that. That's kind of ridiculous. I'm hurt. Looking for an up tilt again, too, but these lower percents not going to find much off of it and won't find anything, just getting grabbed. <laughs> Rinse and repeat here, taking this soft advantage, going to keep throwing off of stage and get your materials online. Stay in your own lane unbothered for now. And Antimony is back into the mining area. But MVD's probably okay with that because the time is just simply ticking down. This is going up. This is only hurting Antimony at the current moment. Because just like that, you can see 50% go straight on. But that is that potentially not even able to mash out of the minecart to death. And that's the weird 50 50. If you mash as hard as you can, Antimony has shown the skill and talent to go down there and chase the forward air. So you had to find the real weird sweet spot, and MVD not able to do so right there. Still on a relatively good lead onto the second stock. Wow. Ah, uh, I thought there could have been a, another extension in there, but there is a mason block on the on the floor, and again, My Antimony is, is just unable to make use of it, and MVD reversals the situation. The mason block, unfortunately, taking out Antimony again. I mean, like dash attack and forward tilt are such good options to set you up to get hit by that block at the perfect angle for a spike. So MVD realizing situations on the fly and adapting. Yeah, and that's why he again has basically like the the all time pass of a respected player, a good win because they're still able to make things work like this. Nikita catching Antimony on that one right now, about the same percent for both these players, but MVD up an entire stock. Yeah. But no stock lead seems to be safe here, too. Antimony has done really good stuff with the back against the wall. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, th I may maybe wanted to actually have the spike hitbox not hit there because it would have sent MVD into a better disadvantage state for Antimony. But we're still in this. Antimony is 105 at the current moment. There's the up hill on the mix-up. That was nice. That was nice. I love single forward, forward tilt. Most people think they can get the parry off or get the jump out if they shield the first one or if they can be something else, but the jump out called immediately. Absolutely wonderfully done by MVD. You can see that the reads, the reads are starting to come up a little bit for MVD's purposes. See that, that, uh, that read on that up tilt really early on, waiting for these moments right over there to get that, that down tilt extra damage in there as well. And then just right here, Excuse me. You can see a uh, little flame around. Waits for it. Bop, yeah, off the top. Safe. PS2 heading to Viplats once again. Really good dash back there, too. Not going to find a mix-up on Ooh. the jab. So first real damage being done by Antimony. See, it kind of feels like Steve has a re has really good frame data and ability to, to punish Snake for, for trying to trade with grenades. Yeah. But sometimes Antimony just is barely whiffing them and not able to get it, but just like that, I I guess Antimony says that Bounce, you're the worst person of all time. Yo, check this out. And takes a zero, basically a zero to death on MVD very quickly. Grenade for Senlo. Love the roll away from that cart. It seemed like it was just timed perfectly to get behind it, but again, still hot on oh, the rail. My goodness, Antimony can Dying for a block it. placement. You saw that. Just block, 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 block. Give me something. Land, land. Another minecart, MVD starting to feel the pressure a little bit right now, and Antimony continuing to push towards it. Get that, that gets that back hitting in there. Not tool tool broken. Tool is broken. We're going to have to craft here, too. You see the table come out already. We are looking for diamonds. Mine, diamonds, mine, diamonds, mine. Okay, we're not going to do this too much. <laughs> but MVD trying to get back in this game as fast as possible. 116 currently on the second stock. Antimony is back into the corner. The mine has been created. The strip mine is up, but absolutely gets TNT'd into oblivion. Diamond once again here, too. Percent's telling a different story than the stocks. Going to find a hard knockdown on the middle of the stage, but smart to go to platforms here. Another shield poke right in there to take that stock at MVD on last stock currently for this game four. Nice little conversion there on grenade and to, into back air. The mason block is out as well, but it's money goes back into the mines. Couple of thrown, and we're back in there as yeah. well. Edge Money wait, looking for that diamond, desperately want. Oh, no way! I have never seen it that Ooh, way. We're good, though. Oh, boy. 
Wow, that could have been absolutely disastrous for Antimony. Up tilt, not quite taking it yet. That was the weak hitbox it looked like. Wow, what a trade on these explosions here, too. Loving the aerial movement here from MVD. Baiting out a lot of minecart, baiting out a lot of aerial options. Oh, Block breaks. Oh my goodness, just in time for MVD. Not having to be in that, that terrible, terrible situation where if you either tech or you die, or you tech or you don't tech and you die, which one do you choose, free man? Up smash going to lock on some more damage here, too, but the chase is on. Finally, C4 on the remix. Second try on that fall down will count. And money does get the diamonds out, and that forward air doing a ton of damage right there. And that might be it, and it is, Antimony. We're going to a game five. It's a hot set. Signed, sealed, and delivered here. MVD currently with stage counter pick two, and it does seem like these counter picks are very important throughout this set thus far. But man, probably the closest game. I mean, we've had some last stock situations here too, but I feel like both players are really getting their licks in. There was no real hard momentum swing. Yeah, Antimony took, did take a pretty commanding lead, but, it, but MVD did bring it back fairly well, but it just wasn't enough for Antimony what a, over here. What a, what a Kobe on this grenade. My goodness. Boop. From range, do -do 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 downtown. And nothing in there, but yeah, MVD getting all the way across stage. Bonk, bonk, bonk. The three hit? Yeah, oh that's insane. Goodness. And straight down, <laughs> Bink. Forces the shield there too. Sick yeah, and, and that most likely, for, for just like the chances overall, that most likely would have meant that Antimony got Diamond into that situation, preventing them from getting it. Kalos League will be our final stanza here in this set, and I think it will be very nice for both characters. It's going to be so much damage online here too. I'd put the over under at like 950 damage Ooh. combined between both. Antimony had the, the beginning to that uh, that big combo, but the grenade does save MVD from there. This landing back air after either a, a an anvil or a, or an up air is just doing a ton of mileage for Antimony. But off the top. What? Wow, that is an what? early kill on any stage. But even talking about Kalos, Kalos, the biggest blast zones you can find in the entire stage select. What a good find. Now this is the question, is Antimony in that in, in that elite club where you got four moves on your Pokemon, or are you the Kalos club where you have three? And Antimony trying to prove why they have four. Drifting away to this platform here too, and this is the pace we'd like to play at. Obviously, it's a fragile lead here for MVD, but if we can get anything additional going. Diamonds online, we will be crafting into those soon. Yeah. Trading with the grenade on the anvil. MVD back into the corner, tossing grenade after grenade after grenade. Minecart not doing enough to get in there, getting blocked off, but that back air is gonna take it right there. Antimony evening up the stocks in very quick succession. Crowd coming alive here too for the Steve player, rooting for our local friends to, Detroit to defeat the invader. Nice little nair right there from MVD, up to 69%. MVD is starting to make another commanding lead in here, rolling back to avoid the minecart. Antimony taking a little bit of chip damage from each of these grenades, and then forgetting where the C4 is. Antimony needs to find a way back into this as fast as possible. Really interesting block placement there, too. Grenade's going to be doing so much to break up any further conversions coming up from Antimony. Really good block placement, avoids the explosion here, there too. We go. Two hits and three hits is about as boost as you're gonna get! Oh my god! Waited for the air dodge from the explosion to hit with the back air! Wanted Again. another one, but could not barely convert it, and the back air is gonna take that stock, and, and MVD is about, is on the last stock to take this uh, this set from Antimony. We've seen crazier things happen in this set, Bounce. I cannot put this one out of contention here for Antimony. Still has Diamond on standby. My cart is still alive in here. That dare is wow. not gonna go for it. Not gonna die. Oh my goodness, still surviving right there. Barely gonna hit by the cipher. MVD still alive. 136% right now with the diamond. There's the forwarder to take it. Antimony is absolutely within reach here. Fans in the crowd are shaking the ground here too. It is a loud house here to see if that's here from the crowd. Let's go, Mason. Can't lie, I'm with him a little bit. I want to see this win here from Antimony. Waiting for that air dodge was not there, but it, but MVD does get away with that. Oh, air dodge not scouted. Oh my Close. goodness. Back air. Not quite yet. 53% right now. Antimony back at center stage, mining again. 
Really good trade there, too, coming in from MVD. Middle of the stage, blowing up the C4. Got to get it placed better. Looking for a air jump or an air dodge in with that up air. Got the oh, scoop. Oh. This is scary, but not close enough to find a punish. Yeah, and Antimony going back into the mining stage of the game. Don't see a diamond quite yet. Wanting to get it as soon as possible. It's only iron so far. Oh, Another really trade grenade. on the on the minecart. This is getting so close, folks. Grab not going to find its mark there either. Grenade doing a little bit of friendly fire damage. Wow, the B reverse. Oh, there's, so there's close a minecart. We're alive. Not quite yet. Still in. And then MVD as at 136 right now. There's a max amount of rays. The grenade on the wow. back air. Not quite in either. On the other side, Nikita. Coming out. The bash. The forward air. That's high. a spike. Gonna go with the minecart again. It drops too low before platform. But Antimony smart to go oh, away. The air God. dodge. The up tilt still not taking it yet. 165 on MVD right now. Another trade on grenade. Antimony getting out of the base. The C4 that's gonna take it. And Antimony barely.